Team callers are one of the most important functions in Articulate Storyline to quickly build consistent and professional looking e-learning modules. And in this video, I will show you step by step how team callers work and how you can easily create your own team callers in Storyline. Hey, I'm Mark from Upward Online Learning, where I teach you how you can create e-learning modules in Articulate Storyline yourself. And are you new here? Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss a video. Ready? Let's go to work. Team colors are very important in Articulate Storyline to ensure that you use exactly the same colors on every slide in your e-learning module. And if you use team colors the right way, you can later easily adjust colors throughout your whole module if necessary, without adjusting every slide separately. And in this video, I'll show you step by step how you, how you can make a team color set so that you can use it in your own Storyline modules. But before we start, what is team color set in Storyline exactly? A, a color set in Articulate Storyline is a collection of colors that you will find in the color palette in Storyline. Um, you can pick these colors when you want to define uh, a fill of a shape. For instance, if I select the shape here, I go to my Format tab and I choose uh, shape fill, uh, shape fill, you see here the different uh, uh, the colors in my team color set. Um, and the same is when I uh, select a text box and I want to change the uh, color of the text. Uh, here you also see the colors that I defined in my, uh, in my team color set. Uh, yeah, you can pick the main colors in your color set that are the colors that are here above and Storyline adds, uh, based on the colors that you have chosen, several uh, additional variations for each color that you can also use in your e-learning module. And if you want to uh, create your own team color set in Articulate Storyline, you will click the Design tab, you will go to uh, your Colors option, and you will click uh, here uh, below uh, to on the button Create New Team Colors. Um, here there are uh, several built-in team colors and here above the custom team colors are the team colors that I've uh, used for several of my clients. So we'll start with a new team color set and we'll start uh, cre uh, click create new team colors. A team color set in Articulate Storyline consists of three different parts. The first part are the accent colors, the second parts are the uh, text and background colors, and the last part are the um, uh, hyperlink and control colors. The first part are the six accent colors. Uh, the accent colors are the basic colors that you use in Storyline to create your module. Accent color one, for instance, is the color that Storyline automatically uses as a fill color for shapes and captions, and also for um, uh, radio buttons with uh, style one and two in Storyline. The accent colors uh, uh, 2 until 6 are colors that you can uh, fill um, by yourself and use uh, for other uh, objects in Storyline. And the next part of your uh, team color set are the, the text and slash background colors. Um, you don't have to necessarily have to make these colors light and dark, but it's advisable because a storyline uses the uh, dark and light colors for um, objects. If you have a dark background, uh, you can choose the light uh, color. If you have a light background, uh, you can use the uh, dark color for text, for instance. Uh, and the, fir the third part of the team color set are the, uh, the other colors, um, the hyperlink colors and the control colors. And the hyperlink color is the color for uh, hyperlinks in your module. Um, and uh, the control color one is the hover color for buttons and for enter, op enter options. Um, custom color one is the default color uh, fill color for buttons in Storyline. And custom color two is the uh, default color for checkboxes and radio buttons with uh, style three and four uh, defined in Articulate Storyline. So now you know where all colors from the team color set uh, are used in Articulate Storyline, I will show you how you can create your own team color set from scratch. 
Uh, and to create a theme color set, you will go to the design tab, uh, click on colors, and choose at the bottom the button create new theme colors. And now you see uh, that Storyline will open a new window uh, where you can fill in the colors for the different parts. If you want to change the colors in this color set, you can do this by uh, clicking um, the colors that color that you have to uh, you want to change. Uh, for instance, accent color one here, and you see um, that there is a color palette opens with the colors uh, that are currently in your in your team color set. Um, I click now on uh, more colors at the bottom, and you see um, you can here insert your own colors. You can enter here RGB values or hexadecimal values. Um, I will uh, change uh, or add a hexadecimal value. When you're uh, done, you'll click the uh, button Add to Custom Colors, and you'll see that um, the color that I've just uh, inserted is, is uh, added to my custom colors. And now uh, when I click OK, you'll see that the accent color one is changed by the color that I've just uh, filled in. So if you're um, satisfied with your team color set, you can uh, give your uh, team color a, a, a clear and descriptive name and click on the save button. You can change the colors of a color set that you're already using in, uh, in your e-learning module. And I'll show you how you can do that. Um, here I have a, a very small e-learning module that contains four slides where I use a, a color set for all the, the four slides. Uh, the accent colors of my current uh, color set um, appear on every slide. And now we'll adjust uh, this color theme. So what we're going to do is we'll click the design tab, click on colors. You see here that the color set, my color set is the color set I'm currently using. I right click, choose edit. And for instance, we want to uh, change the accent color too. So I'll click the accent color too. Um, click here on more colors. Uh, now it's sort of orange. I say I want uh, yeah, uh, something purple. So I'll add purple to the custom colors. Click OK. And I'll save my color set. And you'll see here that um, the purple color uh, is replaced on all my uh, slides in this uh, in this e-learning module. Do you have an existing uh, storyline project where you don't have a, a color set that you're using currently, and you want to use one? Uh, that's no problem because you can create a team color set after you build your e-learning module, and you can select for which slides the new team color set must be used. To do this. Um, you can uh, right click on um, the team color set, for instance, this team color set, and you can choose for uh, apply to all slides. Um, now, this is not the best order because if you're gonna build an e-learning module, um, best is to define your color set first, and after that you uh, can uh, create your slides so you're sure that you are using the uh, colors on all uh, uh, objects that are um, yeah, uh, defined in your team color set and you don't have to uh, change uh, things uh, afterwards. And now you know how team colors work in Articulate Storyline and how you can create your own team color set. And I will guarantee that when you will save a lot of time in developing e-learning modules from now on if you uh, use uh, team color sets in every project that you're starting. Did you like this video? Don't forget to give a thumbs up below and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get practical tips every week about creating e-learning modules with Articulate Storyline. Until the next video.